What? I should stop going AFK if I'm... Uh, I, I, I made it. That was close. It could be <coughs> could be worse. Okay. Okay. Got this shit. Can I go off AFK? Well, I'm recording now, so I can go AFK. Ha! <laughs> See you in a second. Okay, are we connected? Not really, huh? Ye. Why is my chat not working? No. That is not good. Let me close Blender real quick. Oh, I'm still in full screen. Haha. <laughs> close do not save mm -hmm. everything up and running hmm I'm having the bug again but I can chat. But I cannot um, move my mouse. Uh, yeah. But it's now not leaving my screen, so, and it's on both sides, so it might be a different bug than usually. But I'm up and running, cool. So welcome back to this episode. Um, oh, why do I don't have what water? Yes, yeah, so we got a blaze rod, and we're still alive. That's so good. I uh, I realized that in the last episode I. <laughs> I had some sound issues and there was no microphone detected by OBS. It didn't throw an error warning, but I mean, one look, it, OBS does a good job at previewing if audio and video works. One look at the mic aux um, output would have been enough, but I didn't um, check it to see that my audio is not uh, working. Mm. Anyways, I'm, I'm most certainly sure, that's not how you say it, um, that it's now working. And yeah, I, I, I now realize what people said about the boats being so buggy. I can't remember it being so bad when I uh, went to this island um, in the first place. Anyways, <clears throat> is this our thing here? Does any anything look familiar? I don't know. Do I still need XP? I guess I always need it. Yes! Ah, it's so refreshing to play on 2B again. I think I enjoyed um, more and more every every session. Well, especially in the beginning of the session when everything is still fresh and not I'm, I'm not tilted and forced to continue to play due to you know queue times and, and shit yeah i have a really good feeling for this episode since we will most likely in this episode already get a e-chest if nothing goes horribly wrong and my base is completely raided that would be quite unfortunate then i would only get a e-chest in the next episode well i don't have the pearl with me so 
Yeah, if the base is raided and my ender pearl is gone, then I'm fucked. But then I don't have any items anyways to put in the chest, so that's that's fine, I guess. Where am I? This place doesn't seem familiar. Oh, it should be though. I think this is like, I've been playing this game for a long time, <laughs> a really long time. I think it's over a decade. No, 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 not that long, but long. Um, multiple years, like tons of them. I think, no, over a decade, could be. Mm. Around a decade. <clears throat> and I've never remembered any coordinates or like used the coordinates to like right now to find uh, my spot. Um, I always had to take screenshots and then yeah, look at them for ages. That's cool. So I made an improvement over here. Do I have anything that I can trade in? Not really, right? Mm. I can leave some leather here though. So that village is not raided yet. That is a good good sign. That is very good. So maybe we were not found yet. Carrot. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All going by plan so far. Yeah, I was somewhat prepared to spawn in lava. I don't know why. Mm. Is it that direction? Yeah, it is. And while being in queue, I just had this... Um, this thought about like how the server turned out. I mean, um, also like referring to a Kurzgesagt video, or like how you say it in English, Kurzgesagt. No, I don't know. <laughs> Kurz. Ah, how is it pronounced in English? I mean, it's a German word, so I don't know how you should pronounce it in English. Um, Anyways, so they made a video. Oh fuck! Should I should I search the title right now, so that you can you can follow better? I'm sure they have a English version for this. Um, in a nutshell, they are also known for in a nutshell. I mean that's the channel channel name. Anyways, so the video was about should I quickly search it and let some spiders spawn? Okay, let's do it. Mm. Let's actually have some episode of me talking something here and not some crazy shit ass music that I get copyright claim for anyways and you can't hear it because I muted myself. Oh my gosh. Anyways, so let's go and check YouTube. Um, ha, it's in my history, maybe. Always having a hard time to find stuff in my histories. Because I use YouTube to um, listen to music and shit, so there's a lot of stuff. Mm. Mm. Oh. I can search Kurz gesagt. Mm -hmm. no. Oh I think I I didn't see it on this um fuck on this account. That is inconvenient. So now let's see. Make dissatisfaction skyhook 
It was kind of old. Um, do you know when people say something and they are like, oh, wait, I, I have it somewhere on my phone or something like that, like uh, talking about a, a video or a image and you are not really interested, but you are like, yeah, okay, show me. And then they search for like 20 fucking minutes and you're like, okay. What are we searching again? <laughs> That's how I feel right now, like like this one idiot and I'm searching something you don't even care about. Um, I mean, I can tell you what the video was about, but I want to give you the chance to um, hear it yourself. It might be on the German channel though, so that would be unfortunate. Um, uh, but, but. It was about like humans and how like uh, wealth. Ah, die Landwirtschaft. Ein egoistischer Grund, die Welt zu verbessern. Egoistischer Altruismus. Um, I think it was that one. Yeah. So there might be no English version of it yet. So it's ego egoistic altruism. And the video starts with like showing some farmers and how back then, if you want to be more rich, you have to, um, yeah, I, I mean, you, you obtain uh, wealth by making others poor and stuff like that. You fight over farmland and if you, you have more, others have less, like this concept. That's how humanity started out. Um, or that's how it was a few hundred years ago, you know, when we were farming and shit. And <clears throat> then things changed. And nowadays it's, uh, you, you have a, um, egoistic, like, uh, reason to, um, make sure that everybody is, uh, doing fine on this planet and, um, to get everybody uh, at a certain wealth level. And, um, yeah, so the thing is, the reason for that is that, I mean, we don't farm shit anymore like well we do but it's different now you, your wealth it's not defined by the size of the farmland you have um and we we have this knowledge as a society we have the interwebs we have um machines and things like that and um usually if someone has a um, crazy breakthrough in some science um field let's say medicine or computer science or something like that um, this will be shared most likely and adopted by the whole humanity or like by the majority of the humanity who can like somewhat afford it I mean you know what I mean right and um, if there are not more people that are not struggling for you should probably watch the video, but I mean, it's in uh, in German. So yeah, let me quickly continue to recap what the video is about. So there are some people in poor, in poor countries where they are just struggling to survive. They barely have food and shit and it's really hard times. And they, they have no time to educate themselves, to um, invent things um, or to give something back to humanity. They just they work hard some um, things like they probably they also still farm and stuff like that and um, I don't know they just fight to survive and they have no free minute or like um, no option to educate themselves or to study or to invent things um, it's just about getting the money as a uh, as fast as possible to to survive and uh, obtaining money in in the poorer <clears throat> countries is not by like um yeah making a doctor and getting paid by a university or something like that you know mm. but these people in like let's say in western countries 
they don't bring any value to us. I mean, yeah, for sure, there there is this value of these working in some factories and producing uh, smartphones and stuff for us uh, under the worst conditions. And um, that is for sure some value. So they, yes, yes, okay, let me take that back. They work really hard in um, really um, bad conditions to, um, yeah, give us our, uh, yeah, our wealth and our um, standards that we are used to. But it could be way more efficient if these people um, or if we invested in machines um, that replace their jobs and then uh, donate money or something like that and get them on a level that is similar to our Western um, standards so that every um, uh, third world country um, can afford to study, can afford to lay back think about life and not about the, the next meal and then they might make some crazy um, world changing inventions um, like finding the cure to cancer or stuff like that you know what i mean so um that's what this video is about and my um my thought was like during the queue is that when I used to play Minecraft, as I said years ago, I, I always played um, single player from time to time and vanilla and stuff like that, and also on, on, on other vanilla servers. Yeah, well, I didn't play too much on other vanilla servers. Mm. I think I never played on. Yeah, but you know, my goal always was to make. Um, well, to sure surely make me rich but not like I was walking around and when I see you might have seen it in the previous episodes from me here when I see a sugar cane I don't remove every, everything and then I take it in my inventory and put it in my chest I usually just um, farm the, the, the upper thing and ke keep the lower ones there and then I replace it so I make it longer so the next time I come by it is growing like I'm reinvesting in the world wherever I am it might be thousands of blocks away from my base but I'm I'm having this idea of like making this whole world the whole Minecraft world play that I'm playing in uh, more accessible easier to play easier to travel everything is full of fruits you can um, harvest uh, stuff everywhere there are torches everywhere and when I walk through caves and I find a dead end, then I usually, I don't do that on 2B2T, but then, then I usually um, close the cave with cobblestone, you know, like this is a dead end, there are no more ores, then I place cobblestone here, and then um, when I go through the cage again, I won't get lost, and I won't um, run in circles without finding new uh, resources. And that is something that was always my goal, to make a Minecraft world as rich as possible. So you might think that um, Minecraft, like the whole concept, what the fuck? Huh? The whole concept of Minecraft, like the whole world, you, we still have um, uh, these these tools that humans used a hundred years ago. Um, we still have, um, you know, swords. There are no guns. We don't have any machines. Um, you might think that the concept of wealth applied that applied to humanity a hundred years ago or something like that uh, prior to uh, industrialization and that if you get richer uh, others have to get poorer and I doubt that I'm, I'm here to doubt that and I think if I run around in, in cages and um, uh, make them more accessible or easier to to farm resources there yes the next person might not find the diamonds um that i found already but he won't um be looking um for too long because i i made it clear that the resources are gone already and there is enough space in minecraft to um that everybody can build as big farmlands as they want there, there's no um, fights against um uh, like there are no fights um about farmlands or like size of the world um, it's it's big enough and every um, 
and everywhere you have good conditions to 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 build your crops and stuff like that so if i run around and uh, play sugarcane everywhere and if everybody does that everybody would um, profit from that so i think uh, the Minecraft world is similar to the current um, society. So if everybody gets richer, or if I make sure that um, there are no poor players, um, then I profit from that myself. If a new player spawns on a vanilla server and I give them my bread and stuff like that, that I have tons already, then he doesn't have to invest um, that much time in the beginning to struggle and get basic food and things like that he has some time to um, yeah work more efficiently right from the beginning and then he might spend some time on on, on mining and then he can give me back items um, faster and we can build something together and you know I think <coughs> that if we all work together um, that we all would profit from that I mean, sure, back then humans were always kind of social, so that was always kind of a thing, but you know what I mean? And also like about these um, uh, things like uh, there was no industrialization, there's no medicine, there are no machines in Minecraft. That's, that's also wrong. We have these redstone machines and imagine that like not everyone has to like get food kill other players on like I'm talking about 2v2t now for example that everybody himself tries to survive and fight and but can um, can lay back get some food from other players get equipped and then spend his time on building crazy redstone machines that efficiently farm and give all the values that he was given that the player was given at the beginning to start um, his journey more easily can give more than that back with a crazy uh, farming machine and stuff like that you know since the slime update we can build some crazy machines and if uh, people have time to build those and um, then there there can be outcomes of items that that are so much that there's enough for everybody and yeah it would be kind of cool if 2B would be such an environment. Um, you know, it, just because everything is allowed doesn't mean you have to join the server and spam nigger in chat and kill everybody, right? If you think about it, 2B2T, the concept of 2B2T is like the real world from the anarchy perspective because the fucking real life is also anarchy in the sense that there is no superior power no administrator of the world no fucking well let's not get into uh, this topic but no fucking god that like uh, punishes us w when we do something wrong well some might disagree but you know what i mean right there's no obvious admin running around and banning people if they behave badly in the real world. The real world is also anarchy. But we decided to not run around and kill everybody because it doesn't make us richer, right? If you think about it, we, we do really profit when other people are still alive and when we can work together. You know, all these big accomplishments by humanity, they, they mostly were teamwork, right? Imagine, like, people would would be spawned or, like, born in real life and, like, oh, wait, here's no admin online. <laughs> Let me fuck everybody and say shit and get killed and whatever. Like, this is... There might be one different that difference that um, you think you only have one life and you're like, ah... If people are mad at me, they can hurt me, and that is really annoying, and there's no escape. You might you might be thinking that, and on the opposite side, you can say, yeah, on 2B, I can just switch server if, uh, if shit's about to hit the fan or stuff like that. And um, 
if I get three uh, threaded treated bad back <laughs> um, then and it's too bad I can always leave and it's just a game and like that mm. and maybe because it's actually like the real world you can um, finally live out your nasty dreams that you you're holding back in real life because you cannot insult anybody um, and you fear the consequences you can finally live out that on uh, 2b but let me tell me tell you something it would also be kind of great to actually work together like we do in the normal world think about it i mean sure um yeah at some point somebody will would rob and um somebody has some crazy diamonds and elytras and whatnot and you you want that shit but um it doesn't have to be that hostile like like it's right now i don't say that i'm not like wondering why everybody is uh is not a saint and like uh, just working for others and being super altruistic I'm just talking about a little bit reflected uh, behavior to optimize overall wealth for everybody um, I mean like if you find a dupe stash it's totally fine to get something if you need some items right communism style but it's totally fucked up if you don't need the items or you can't hold them to blow the dupe stash in, in the air with some TNT. Like, what the fuck? What is this attitude? And I think that is, that is also some people don't even think about it. Don't, some people think that's how it is. There are no rules. It has to be like this. But I, I disagree. And I also started, I would say, break fucking phone. I started brainwashed like that. Watching Fit Them See and how hostile this environment is and all these articles and blah, blah, blah. And some people don't even consider that it doesn't have to be like that. I, I think. I, that's what the... I, I mean, I didn't consider it until now and I played fucking 80 hours on the server. I spent one day in queue in the last few days. Crazy if you think about it. I have some stats in my uh, multi-MC launcher. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with society? And I don't think that there's any... Well, I, I've seen some anarchy server where they have some active spawn repair group or something like that. But, you know... Yeah. Oh, let me... Where do I put these cards? Let me put them down here, right? Or next to the portal. Let me do it here. Yeah, so that are my two, two cents on this thought. No. Wouldn't it be great? I think it would. Wait, didn't it work like... Oh, it's so sand, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm so lost. Um, yeah, is there, is there something left to say? I'm, I'm now concentrating more on the game. I'm really, I'm really bad at multitasking and, and shit. But wouldn't it be great? I mean, this anarchy is really nice because sometimes I rage and I like I really want to insult and I also like to use some bad words and chat and stuff like that. And it would be nice to not get banned by someone you cannot fight back because he has superior power, right? Or sometimes you want to kill another player or grief something. That's totally fine. But you don't have to be a fucking asshole twenty four seven and always like be super racist and chat just 
because racism is considered really bad and anti-Semitic. And I, I have the feeling that most people don't even care about Jews or black people or whatever, but they just know that it triggers other people. And that's why they do it. And that's so fucked up. You don't have to do that all the time. I mean, it can be funny from time to time, but jeez. And I myself am not better. You have seen uh, how I tried to adapt to this world. And I was like always writing Alta 4 in chat and stuff like that. I mean, this distance helps you to, to not get hurt. If you're rude, you, you, you expect to be treat, um, treated like that uh, in, in return. Yeah, that didn't work out right. Oh! Oh! Ah! I just orgasmed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, wait, can, can I slap Manding on that bitch? For two, you must be kidding me. You must be kidding. Look at that beauty. Mm. 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 I, I've, I could have never dreamt to obtain such a slick pickaxe in fucking 2B. Mmm. Mm, can I combine those? Oh, I need more eye. Oh, that is that is awesome. Can, can you believe it? Ah, oh. crazy stuff. We're getting there. Without begging at spawn, like actually obtaining the items. Uh, yeah, that's not working, is it? That would be kind of crazy. Wait, is that the wrong pigx? It's the wrong pigx. That's fair. Let me see. <gasps> it works. Okay. Is there any fucking better pigx on this planet? Well, yeah, netherite. But well, Mm -hmm. That is some good shit, man. That is some good shit. Wait, I put all the... Do I need another... Yeah, let, let me put another chest up here. Oh, I feel like I didn't really finish my thoughts, but... Um, well, I don't care. So good. So fucking good. Da, 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 da. That is so good. <clears throat> Did I break my pickaxe again? Wait, that's the iron one. So this is how I do it, right? Yes. Okay, that's good. Ha! <sighs> mm-hmm. I'm so remembering how this thing was crafted. Should I put it one higher? Like here yeah oh hello booty <laughs> what a cheap fuck of diamond shit um oh yeah hemlock box <laughs> and fucking sapling <laughs> what, what is what is this chest like seriously what how poor can one be Oh, is the sand for TNT? Oh, why, why is there sand? But that's some good food. <laughs> Leather. Ah, I must be kidding you. Okay. So, oh yeah, that's what I should do. I should craft some bookshelves so that uh, next time I don't have to spin up a huge farm again to get my crafting table mm 
yeah, that is probably a wise idea. Okay. Yeah, let me put the super crazy pickaxe in there. Shall I? Don't I have another fortune pickaxe anyways to, to use? Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah boy C can you can you see that that's crazy and the wool i can trade that in that's some good stuff and the saplings do i need them for like in the nether in case i i don't know i'm i actually might need them um but not the my ender chest, right? That's well, such a waste of space. Yeah, let's not put them in there. All righty. We did it. That's my fucking dream pickaxe and it's saved in the ender chest. We are ready to get raid. So, oh, what that means actually is I can stay here for longer doesn't it because I can now save my super valuables that's so good that's so good yeah I'm really relieved now and let me quickly save the stuff I really need Oh, not that guy again. Ignore heart. Didn't I do that already? Is the ignore list not saved or something like that on server restart? No, it is. Um, what did I have here? Obsidian. Blaze rod. So good. So good. Wonderful. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? A world where we all collaborate. I mean, there can still be war and stuff like that, but it doesn't have to be so fucking bad like it is now. Yeah, but imagine a place where spawn would be full of houses with new players building stuff. How, how much fun it would be to just spawn and kill everybody and grief everything and then leave again yeah that doesn't that doesn't work out but let's say not directly at spawn so players who want to join the the server's culture or who want to like participate and um, be nice to each other just have to walk a little bit and they have to invest some time before they can reach uh, regions where they can grief everything then it could work out i think it yeah would be really cool and then we could as a community of like hundreds of players online at the same time could achieve big things yeah i don't know i'm just dreaming probably anyway so let's get some books shall we books do i have some crappy wool yeah let's use that shit wood yeah bookshelves are more um valuable and then not just then some leather and yeah, should I keep the sugar cane? I will most likely find more. Cooked fish is also probably good when I'm on the on the ride to um, 
to refill block of coal that should be full so name tags yeah I have some of those mending yeah let's unbreaking three fortune sadly it doesn't have efficiency oh but I can slap efficiency on it oh no that's planned for the other one isn't it yeah that worked right so I need level 30 and then that was that right cost six wasn't it like 30 <laughs> um, wait am I am I doing something wrong here efficiency five unbreaking three fortune yeah so that's a solid pig X but yeah so I I would like to put in some efficiency on that one as well and then I can run around with this and yeah let's save that for now here Do we have some more food bread okay 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 Diamonds. Okay. We get in there. Do you, do you feel it? Do you feel the richness? Golden apples. I need those with me at all times. Yeah, wait, let's keep that in here. Uh, emeralds. Yeah, we can also keep that in the ender chest. So that we have everything valuable in the ender chest. Would be nice to have an ender chest and an ender chest as well, huh? Yeah, I should probably start farming those. Farming some obsidian, killing more blaze rods. I think that's a good idea. Oh my god. Okay, let me get. Yeah, let's aim for the next mending tool. Should we go for a. armor? Like, I have all these diamond parts you have two of those and oh, what a waste well I can maybe craft them together or something like that you know this idea of like running around and I mean this mindset of 2b that I currently um, think that it is widely spread is that if you if you leave your base or if the coordinates are leaked you grieve it yourself and do not give anybody else like the joy of doing it imagine if i just continue my ride my journey and do not grieve the space but i will never return and i won't even notice if someone grieves it but imagine a new player like me we just find it by chance and it's like oh my gosh i was starving to death and now i have all this good food and stuff that's so awesome isn't that nice doesn't that bring fun and joy to life no huh. so let's go to the villagers and do some trades Yeah, there we 
have another diamond chest plates. They are all over the place. Oh, we have more pumpkins growing now. Okay, I should not forget that I am wearing my crazy fortune 3 pickaxe. Oh, my sword is almost broken. Okay, let me see what sword enchantment we have. Good that I made so many pickaxes, I will most likely never need them. So, sword, what do you give? Fire aspect. I actually like fire aspect. Should I enchant a diamond sword with fire aspect? Hmm. Yeah, why not, huh? Why not? Okay, let's go to the village. Let's go overworld. Yeah, let's go overworld, get some wood, get some XP, get some leather. And yeah, get rich, huh? So that was a successful episode already, a very successful episode. You know, there are better times, there are worse times. Yeah, a, um, a armor that um, survives a creeper and lava would be really handy if I run around with these valuable pickaxes. So maybe I should go for a armor first before I put another valuable sword in my sortiment. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see about that. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, I should not forget to always mine ores with the correct pickaxe. Since I'm used to pressing the two on my keyboard to quickly switch over to my pickaxe. But that is only for non ores that do not bring XP. And yeah, I can get a lot of coal with this shit. Am I going to mine now? Ah, life is so nice. I, I don't know why, it's, it's just... Life is really nice. Well, I do know why. Because I'm fucking rich on 2B. And also it's like super good TPS, it's saying 10, but it's like everything is so lag free. Well, that's that. What do you guys think about a enchantment that uh, increases your uh, level uh, ability, like your XP suck-in ability? 
So let's say it's on a pickaxe and if you mine ores, you get more XP out of it. Or if it's on a sword, you get more XP when, yeah, you know, killing stuff. Would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? And there should be finally enchantments for fucking hoes. I really want to enchant the hoe and have like better um i don't know farmland where the seeds grow faster or something like that a fucking enchanted diamond hole wouldn't that be great i am a terrible person Maybe you should try to realize my idea of building an open village that is a little bit far away so new players have to spend some time thinking, traveling the highways until they get there. Where everybody's welcome and well no that won't work out, right? <laughs> yeah. Sad. Do you have any idea how I could? Yeah, I cannot think of something that is so vulnerable to people attacking it. Hmm. Hmm. spec would be kind of cool also for food imagine finding another pig spawner and I have my fire aspect sword be kind of cool huh? yeah I, I doubt though that I find another pig spawner so where am I is that a known mountain? No, I can't remember it. some apples no some more golden apples would be nice hello Ooh. I don't know what um, kind of uh, armor enchantments I need to survive a creeper and lava, but I have the feeling it's like protection for at least on every part, plus mending that will take some time. Yeah, so I should check if the um, if any armor part. Uh, offers protection 5 or 4, I will do that, otherwise I will enchant my fire aspect 2 sword. Yeah, sounds like a plan, I, I shouldn't forget it though. I tend to forget things. Oh, I need feather falling, I really like to jump off stuff.
so many horses. That's so nice. Why are they making so horrible ho uh, noises? Sounds. It makes me feel like a bird person, but I'm just killing horses. There's nothing wrong to it. <laughs> Did you see the spin? Fucking 360 horse. Yeah, true low carb vegans only eat carrots in Minecraft, huh? Should I mind it? It will block one slot in my inventory. Yeah, but I really need iron. Good investment. I should also look into some time how to build a iron farm. Maybe that's something that works on 2B with villagers and stuff. Um, I really don't have slot left in my toolbar for building blocks which is bad because sometimes we really need building blocks quite fast but i also need my food all the time my shovel my water bucket my lava bucket yeah i'm missing i can i could use a bucket in a second oh no like this Yeah, that's that's good. That is good. Almost level 30 again, huh? Yeah, that is also going quite fast because I don't have a mending um, armor that would suck up all the uh, all the level I get. Am I full? Ah, no, I'm not. Fucking shitstone. Should I go down here? <gasps> was that me? Or is that water? What is going on here? Why is there cobblestone?
Okay. Yeah, I should have, should have seen that one coming. Wait. That doesn't look like water. Does it? I don't know. Spooky. I'm probably full soon, am I? Yeah. <laughs> um yeah no oh wait i can that's the thing when you have the fortune pickaxe um that's something that can happen do i have all the items Yeah, I for sure now have some coal to trade with that um, villager. If he's happy to trade with me, I don't know. And I also have wool. I need that leather myself though. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's let's leave the mine. I'm collecting too many items. Let's get out of here. Oh boy. Oh another spawner. What do we have? Skeletons or zombies? Zombies. Not zombies. Fucking German. Yeah, let's maybe stay a little bit. There's so much ore everywhere. Yeah, it looks like zombies. How high are we? Yikes. Uh, hi. Let's not die. Please, please, should I eat an apple already? Oh my god. I need torches. I don't have torches. Oh, I have. Root oh strings. Yeah, do I need that horse armor shit? Mm. Diamond. Yeah, let's maybe not take the golden one. Three bones or a golden horse armor. Yeah, let's take three bones, shall we? I mean, it's all a slot in my ender chest at the end. Well, I have a shulker, so... Ah, I don't know. Let's go with diamond. I, I won't use horses any... Oh, wait. I was thinking about using a horse, didn't I? Mm. Okay. Let's take it. 
Um, yeah, I was thinking about going to the highway again with a horse. Where's all my food? Oh, it's there. Yeah, sure. It's my my second hand. Yeah. Anyways, um, let's take a little bit of coal. Mmm. So much coal. And then we should really get going to that village. I'm 8 million out. Wow, 8 million. Impressive, mate. Hope I get there soon. Or oh, as well at some point. 8 million. I mean, 2 fucking million. 1 7, not even 2. <laughs> oh man. Will be a long journey. I could find diamonds here and tons of items that I don't have space in my inventory so let's get out of here it's a nice cave and all but let's not overdo it fill up that stack and take some iron Nine paves are blocking one slot in my inventory. Oh, is this a dead end? No, come on. No, no, no. How deep am I? 14. Where can I? Where did I came? How do I? Um, am I running in circles? Looks like, huh? Fuck. Fuck. No, 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 no. Yes, here. Yeah, found it. Okay, but can I also find the village? Wanna see something cool? Yeah, that was cool, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought it's only one deep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Such an idiot. Well, it seems like I have a um, arm already that survives lava. Yeah, it's the water bucket though, that, that is gold. Let me get some more wool. Let's put two in here. Where am I? One seven two nine nine. Yes, I have to go that direction. Right. It has to get bigger. That direction. Okay. So 
So I'm going in the wrong direction anyways. Worth it. Let's go. Okay, that's cover for me. Must be close to something. Oh no, pork. Pork is actually kinda nice. But it is, is it nicer than 34 seeds or six signs? Okay, let's fuck the signs. Da -da -da -da. Dillyhoon, Dillyhoon, Hong Kong, 2020. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And they are so useful for un underwater and shit, but um, yeah, you know, pork. And I also have my water bucket. So, where are we now? What? We're completely wrong, aren't we? <laughs> Come on. I still don't know this land. I, I've been running around here for like ever. Chicken. Do I have some slot in my inventory for that? Yeah, let's fuck the nine papes. Nine papes of four chicken. Ah, that's a... Huh. Feel like I reach my home soon, but I'm not um, reaching the village. I forgot the village coordinates. And we have one hour and 15 minutes already, so I would say let's do a quick cut here. See you in the next episode. I will just restart my recording. <laughs>